In case you hadn't heard, Rainbow Six Siege has been delayed till December, which is cutting it a little bit fine for us to review it before Good Game takes its summer break. Yes, but never fear, for the beta is here. So we thought we'd jump in and have a first play now, and we sieged like we've never sieged before. Pretty sure clear. Basement looks level. clear. Is that you shooting? Bomb guys, man. Flashing him. Grenading. Move around. Oh, sh Grenade! Oh, no! There is a guy there. Oh, Here grenade, comes the gas. Grenade, the grenade. grenade. Hey. Ah! Flashbang. Watch oh, out. God. No one in there. <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege is a multiplayer-only tactical shooter from Ubisoft Montreal. And it's the game that replaced the previously announced Rainbow Six Patriots, which the developer decided to cancel because of difficulties and expectations with the changeover from last gen to current gen. And Hex, I think that might have been a great decision because Siege takes this franchise in a direction that's really interesting. Yeah, it's allowed for a highly polished and competitive focused shooter, and it's different from anything else out there right now. All right. Here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. He's coming up the stairs now, up the spiral staircase, out to your right and right again. This game is all about team communication and planned attacks. That's cool. The beta has only a handful of maps and modes, but we were still able to get a great impression for how it plays. First up, let's look at the co-op mode. Terrorist Hunt is back. It's you and up to four others versus the AI as you try to infiltrate a building on lockdown. Your goal is to wipe out every single enemy you can find without losing your entire squad. Ah, uh, behind Bruce, me! Some... I will help you! I'll cover you. Oh, I saved your butt. And this mode is at its best when you pump that difficulty up to realistic. I'm dead. Oh, God. Careful, they shot me. How's Big dead already? This. See that guy? Coming up the stairs. Oh. Oh, no. All right, what are we doing wrong here, guys? These enemies, Hex? Are terrifying. It's basically a haunted house full of heavily armed men. It's just so intense and it shows signs of well-designed AI too. Yeah, I mean the enemies are really interesting to engage. This is like three guys that came from Once you've made noise, they'll start to hunt you, flank you, use grenades and suicide bombers. And this promotes some heavy tactical play from you and your teammates. You never enter and hang around at the entrance without someone covering your back and you never run out into the open. <laughs> there were a few times when enemies wouldn't react to you shooting them, but it is a beta after all. And it doesn't take much to go down, and once you are down, not much to finish you off. This is hardcore mode all the time. Come save me, Pierre. Come Don't. save me. Never mind, you killed me. <laughs> but where this game truly shines is the player versus player modes. And these are set up where one team is attacking, planning to infiltrate a building, while the other sets up defences within it. And the good news is, it's fun whether you're attacking or defending. There are two PvP modes available in the beta, Bomb and Secure Area. Bomb defuser in place. Bomb is a defusal situation where there are two bombs and only one defusal kit. Oh, we're planting defuser. Planting the defuser! And secure area requires you to locate a biological agent and hold the position for a short period of time. Oh, top floor, I think, lads. Sounds simple, right? Well, not so much. Yes, each mode has a preparation stage where the defenders lay traps. Get ready to engage. There's slowing wire, portable shields, and they board up and reinforce walls and doors. And boarding up rooms is also fun for trolling teammates. Bye, Pete. The bomb. Be ready to no! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> There's real strategy to preparing for an attack. No side ever wants to give away their position at any time. Second floor. But while you are setting up defences, you also need to watch out for what we like to call dronies. Ah, here come the dronies! Ah, ah, watch it! <laughs> A little jump. Oh, it's there. Ah, oh, pesky dronies, Bajo. These are little remote controlled camera drones which the attacker sends in to try and figure out where the enemy is in the house. They can be destroyed or halted with electronic disruptors. And they can also jump. Whee! 
Oh, they're adorable, Bajo. Absolutely. And there's heaps of strategy for how you use them. There's this organic spreading out that you and your team naturally do as they all zip in and try to locate and scan enemy positions as efficiently as possible. I am officially hidden in the office. And once the attack is actually on, you can go back to these drones and use them as cameras to spot enemies. And this is an underutilized skill that I didn't see much of in the beta, but it just works. Knowing where your enemies are in this game wins matches. Oh, no. Your location has been compromised. I went, out, I went outside and got them. Once the prep timer is up, it's on. There are multiple ways to get into a building. You can just slowly and noisily melee the windows, bash walls with a hammer, repel in through a window or a skylight. Or our personal favorite, breach charges. Bajo, I can breach all day. Oh, me too. It's just such a thrilling action movie kind of way to infiltrate a base. And if you plan things wrong, you'll walk into an ambush. But if things have gone right, then you'll be the ambusher instead of the ambushee. That time to open the door, buddy. It's kind of like a high stakes game of hide and seek. Waiting in the building, hearing all the footsteps and tiny sounds of your attackers is really frightening. And there are lots of little giveaways too, like broken glass or outside hey. cameras, which of course can be shot out by the attackers. But what I really liked is that when you die, you can still help your team by taking control of cameras and spotting enemies. A bomb has been located by our force. So you never get bored waiting for the next round. Yeah, it's such a good feature. And the pace of this combat is really interesting too. It goes from super quiet and tense to suddenly extreme uh, action and panic. Gas grenade. Coming from up top. Then back to quiet again. It's such a roller coaster hex. Yeah, and the destruction can really catch you off guard too. Yeah, the number of times I've been taken out from someone blowing the roof above me or punching a tiny hole in a wall and shooting through it. Yeah, I was surprised at just how much of the wall could actually be shot through. But it is balanced too, so you can't just spam fire into a building and win. For a start, you don't have heaps of ammo, and attacks need to be planned and precise to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. Having said all that, if you think an enemy is behind a wall or maybe in your line of sight, you kind of just have to go for it with some controlled spam just in case you hit them. shooting from under. You can tell they've worked hard on how long it takes to set a charge or scan for enemies too. It's all very considered design on that front. And I also quite liked that bullets leave faint white trails, which doesn't seem very realistic, but you just need those to see where the bullets are coming from. There are classes known as operators, and you slowly unlock them, and there's a huge variety from heavy shield guys who often seem indestructible without flanking them. I'll get them up here. No, I won't. Uh, to more tech-based options, such as my favourite, Twitch, who has a little drone with its very own taser. There's one more. I loved leading a charge with this drone and shouting out to my teammates where everybody is, and also using its taser to harass any enemies I can find. He's still alive. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> no! Ah, it's just so much fun. <laughs> there is a bit of weapon customization too, although it's hidden in a menu that's kind of hard to find. I mean, this is such a different style of strategy game to anything that I've played before, Bajo. I mean, the best comparison I could make is maybe Payday, but this is just a whole new level of fear and stress. Yeah, totally. And there's just so much to learn too. Even 15 hours in, we were coming up with new strategies. I killed the guy with the diffuser. <laughs> <laughs> the window. Yeah, for shooter fans, this really fills that situational SWAT team fantasy. You're playing a role, you're a part of a team, and you're got to be efficient and good at it. Oh, there's like two in there. You're busting into a building, shield guy at the front while others try and pick shots around them, working out decoy plans and adjusting strategy on the fly. It's thrilling stuff. There's so much more we could talk about with this game, such as the level design, the strategic differences that happen when the map is set at night or in the day, and how your strategy changes for both sides when the objective location is discovered. So there's two, right? Be advised your drone has located a bomb. But the important thing is this game is on track to be something really cool and different. Bajo, I am all in for the final release. Yeah, me too. I hope Siege lives up to what we now expect from it. And now here's Goose with the news.